But in the 40th verse, we have his first individual meeting. And it's fitting that this meeting is his first individual meeting because it captures the most beautiful reminder of Christ as our refuge when we are unclean. He cleanses us completely as individuals. Jesus was the perfect, the only refuge for this unclean leper. Physically, leprosy is awful. Leprosy was the scourge of the ancient world, if you read the annals of history. Nothing would evoke more fear, more dread, or more revulsion than the sight of a leper. They were called the walking dead because their bodies literally on the outside decayed and were dead and running and and oozing and, and smelling like death. The smell of decaying flesh would denounce the coming of a leper long before their tattered scraps of clothing would be seen. Long before the the after effect of leprosy, which was an effect on the vocal cords, which made every leper's voice be raspy, hoarse, and very unique. Finally being a metallic, shrieky kind of voice as the vocal cords were affected. So we can almost hear... This, this leper's impassioned, hoarse, raspy, metallic cry, we can see and almost smell the scene as he comes before Christ. Unclean, unclean was the announcement required to be declared by every leper in Israel. And so this stumbling shuffle of toeless feet, this wanderer with partially sightless eyes, this moan, of often a cheekless mouth, often a lipless mouth, but this one not yet tongueless because he could speak. All of these things pointed to leprosy, the unseen attacker that slowly destroyed a human body and made the individual isolated and excluded from society. That was just physically. Spiritually, leprosy was a vivid and graphic picture of the horrible power of sin. Sin is ugly, loathsome, incurable, and contaminating. That's what leprosy teaches us about sin. It separates men from God. It makes them outcast. Now, for a moment, while we're looking at this leper, turn back to Leviticus. Now, Leviticus 13 is probably not one of your favorite chapters in the Bible. But maybe with a few notes in the margin, it might become a real hope-filled chapter in your Bible. Leviticus 13 explains leprosy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, third book, 13th chapter. This is what, if I summarize the whole chapter, it would be this. Five points Leviticus 13 teaches. Number one, sin is inside us. It's deeper than the skin. It cannot be helped by mere surface measures. Why do I say that? Because Leviticus 13.3 says that leprosy was not on the surface. It was deeper than the skin. And leprosy is always a picture of sin in the Bible. And so sin is not surface, it's not culture, it's not your environment, it's not the people around you. It's deeper than the skin, it's inside of us. We were born sinners. Second truth about leprosy is in verse 8. It would spread. And the second truth about sin is sin spreads in our lives. You can't just have one little besetting sin and keep it in a closet. It spreads. Sin is devious. Its, Its tentacles go into all of our lives. And it's like leprosy. It soon affects every part of us. Thirdly, It says in in verse 45 of chapter 13 that sin always defiles because people with leprosy were looked upon as dead. It, it, It would just be one part of their body, but it defiled slowly their whole body. And so they would slowly become a walking dead person. And so with sin in our lives, the scriptures say that we are dead, Ephesians 2, in our trespasses and sins. Just like a leper was a walking dead person, we are spiritually dead. Fourthly, Verse 46 also says that because of the defilement, a leprous person had to be isolated. They had to be isolated outside the the dwelling places of the Israelites. They couldn't mingle with them. They were a cast out. They had to be away. Well, sin is like that. Because of sin, lost sinners will one day be isolated forever in hell from the community of God. Finally... It says in verses 52 of chapter 13 and verse 57 that just as a leprous garment was fit only for the fire, so those who die clothed with sin will burn forever. 
Do you know why there is an endless punishment for sin? Because there was an endless offer of salvation. Because there is an offer of endless life. And so endless death is the lot of those who burn forever clothed in their leprous garments of sin. How important it is for lost sinners to trust Jesus Christ and get rid of their leprosy.